Hey, Mark from Sam Matters here, talking all things vinyl as always. Today's big question is, how long will a stylus on your cartridge last before it needs to be replaced? What's the average life of one of these devices? How many records can you play? And what are the consequences if you leave it too late? Playing a vinyl record is a demanding physical process that involves your stylus traveling some pretty extreme distances. In fact, most people don't realize this, but the average 12 inch LP has around about 1500 feet of groove per side. That's some pretty extreme distance for such a small implement to travel when you really think about it. And along the way, of course, that same stylus is potentially going to encounter, depending on the condition, naturally, things like dust, dirt, scratches, oily fingerprints, all those kind of side of things that will all naturally contribute to wear and tear. But despite the average styli mostly being made from, well they are made from diamond for the most part, most styli, despite this, and this is the hardest surface known to man by the way, your stylus will eventually wear out to a degree and need to be replaced. So when and how often should you replace a stylus? Well, answering this question universally is pretty difficult. It really is a bit like asking how long is a piece of string or how long will a set of tires last on a car before they need replacing? There are so many different variables involved. How often do you play records? What sort of condition are they in? Do you clean them regularly? Are they really dirty? All these things have a bearing on this question but the fact of the matter is that a worn or damaged stylus will cause excessive wear to your records so it needs to be kept on top of and you need to keep an eye on it. As a stylus wears, flat spots form on its surface and this ultimately makes it harder for it to accurately track a record and it manifests itself as a kind of fuzzy sounding distortion and this increases as the wear gets worse. And this is not a good benchmark by itself as to when we should replace the stylus because by this point we could already be damaging records. So while we can't give an exact figure and every case is different, what we can do is produce a guide based on what most manufacturers would say. And this includes the likes of Shaw, who is a company that I used to work for. Unfortunately, of course, they don't make turntable cartridges anymore, but this is a very good benchmark and actually many other manufacturers have a very similar idea. So every sort of 800 to 1000 playing hours time is when you should consider potentially replacing a turntable stylus. However, that's a not a very useful metric at all for measuring your playback habits. And if anybody is measuring their time of playing records in an Excel spreadsheet by hours, then I would suggest that maybe you've got a bit too much time on your hands. But what people do understand is amount of records played. So I've tried to translate that, of course, into something that's a bit more user friendly. So if we take the best possible outcome and we say a thousand playing hours and we say that we've got roughly 40 minutes of music per side of a record, then a thousand playing hours works out at around about 1500 albums. So if we then split that between 52 weeks in a year, it works out at roughly four albums per day. Now that is immediately a more user-friendly way of keeping tabs of your record playing habits if you wanted to do that kind of thing, but it gives you a rough idea. Some days you're gonna play more than four, some days you're gonna play less than four records. So let's say on average, really, we should be checking our style and keeping tabs on it once every year. If you feel overly cautious, then maybe once every year as a matter of precaution is a good moment to potentially just replace the stylus anyway, but at a bare minimum, you should check in on the stylus, give it a closer inspection at the point of a year. Now there'll be many collectors out there that will say strictly sticking to this 1000 playing hours rule is excessive and that really with proper care and maintenance the vast majority of styli could easily outlive this lifespan and I think there's a lot of merit to this. If you're religious at cleaning your stylus, if you only play good quality records, you keep your records clean and you set your turntable up properly then yes there's a high chance that your stylus could easily outlive this lifespan. I think really the key here 
in answering this because it, it does depend on so many factors is that it's important to check which will be the next thing we'll get to is how can you check if your stylus needs replacing how can you tell so what are the things you can do to see if your stylus needs replacing well one of the best investments you can make is a usb microscope go get yourself one of those or a good quality magnifying glass and when you do so with a usb microscope you'll get nice close-up shots like this one you can expect inspect rather the stylus profile and what you're looking for is any flat spots any changes to the stylus profile in general any sort of mutations to it and you're also looking for any residue that won't come off the stylus when you use a good quality stylus cleaning kit and i'll put links in the description below to all the tools you can use so that you can check them out for yourself I'm just going to pause here for a second just to take a look at some actual styli these are some close-up shots that i've taken this is an autophon 2m red which is an elliptical stylus and you can see that this has barely been used it's still got really good elliptical stylus profile from what i can see this is about as close up as i can get with my particular usb microscope some models are better than others and obviously the closer you can get the more you're going to be able to see the fine detail of any particular wear here's another elliptical stylus but this time it's had significant amount of playing hours behind it and i think at this point and again this is as close as i can get with my particular model of usb microscope but i think it's showing some misshaping of the stylus down at the tip some signs of wear where it's not quite as perfectly pointed as it originally was and it almost looks like there could be a small chip there on the tip of the stylus as well so i think this is a textbook example of a stylus that's at the end of its life and really needs to be replaced it can be incredibly difficult without a before and after reference point actually with these usb microscopes even to determine exactly whether we are seeing misshaping of a stylus point so one of the best things you can actually do is take before and after so you could take a usb screenshot usb microscope screenshot of your stylus when it's brand new and then take another one at six months and then perhaps another one at 12 months and you'll be able to more easily establish whether there are changes to the stylus profile this third example is a nude elliptical stylus. It's an Autophon 2M Blue, which has had quite a lot of hours behind it, actually. And looking at it, it's in better shape than I was expecting it to be. I've been meaning to check this stylus now for some time, but I'm actually quite surprised at the shape that I can see here. But again, without that before and after screenshot, which I think is something I'm going to get in the habit of, actually, it's quite difficult to tell entirely whether it's worn. So you have to use a combination of these USB shots and also using your ears. Last example is a stylus for playing 78 records, just kind of out of interest in many regards, really, because they're obviously a completely different profile. To play wider 78 grooves, you need a completely different stylus profile to do so. But one of the things I've really suspected about this stylus for some time is that the cantilever for it is bent so i just thought putting this under the microscope you'll see very clearly here that the cantilever is indeed bent out of shape which is a real shame but means that this particular stylus needs to be replaced for that alone so just to wrap up the visual examples here then what you're probably gathering by this point is that it's actually not that easy to identify stylus wear visually the better the quality of your usb microscope the easier it's going to be but what i do highly recommend is having those before and after screenshots if you can get them if you take the time to do that that's going to make this task just that little bit easier and it's certainly better than the visual cue you would get from a standard magnifying glass so from that point it's well worth doing and it just gives you that extra visual cue on top of listening carefully to your records for any audible signs of wear which we'll get to next so let's get straight back to that list of how to tell when your stylus needs to be replaced next thing you should do of course is this is slightly less scientific but what you can do is listen to audible signs of wear as mentioned if you are getting audible signs of wear there's a good chance that the stylus is damaged anyway and really should be replaced asap and this can be difficult to determine because sometimes it could be any other matter of thing that's causing for want of a better word that's causing the distortion it could be misalignment of the cartridge all kinds of elements could be contributing to this it could just be simply that the stylus needs cleaning so you should check that too but keep a close tabs on it make sure your stylus is clean that the turntable is well set up and if you do then start to get audible signs of wear 
and then it needs replacing but this will happen gradually and for that reason it's best to perform these listening tests on records that you know very very well but also potentially things like test records can come into their own here as well couple of last things to consider is if you notice that all of a sudden your stylus is jumping out of the groove in sections of record where previously it's been absolutely fine and there are no scratches there, this could be a sign of wear as well. And also it's worth considering as well if you've purchased the turntable secondhand, then as a matter of good practice, I would say just change the stylus anyway because you just don't know what the life of that stylus has been and it's probably best just to start anew with you as the owner if you like. So thank you ever so much for watching. That concludes today's video. I hope you found some of this useful. Now, for a lot of people, I appreciate a lot of this information is quite academic and kind of like, you know, inspecting the stylus and going into those kind of figures and all that kind of side of things. Not everybody wants to go down that road. So if you do have the spare change, if you like, and you don't want to go down to all this trouble of inspecting your stylus and being quite sort of scientific about it with USB microscopes and all that side of things, then the year point of view, once every year, if your record playing matches kind of those figures that I mentioned, that's a good benchmark for when you should replace your stylus. But of course, if you want to save money and you've got the time and the inclination, then it is worth going a little bit further and inspecting the stylus just in case there is more life left in it. Because if you are meticulous with your record collecting hobby, then there is a very good chance that there could be more life left in that stylus still to come. But anyway, I hope some of this information is useful to you. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing and we will see you in that next one. Thanks,